Hello? Ha. I have changed my clothes. And we are going to a Boy Scout troop meeting. Um, now that I think about all of that, this is probably a highly inappropriate way to start the video. I just finished the live stream. I am dirty, I'm a mess, I stink, and I cannot go to this thing smelling like that. So I need to have a fresh change of clothes. So thank you for bearing with me while we go. It's been a real go, go, go situation here. So it's time to go, go, go and get myself proper and decent. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just like I'm going swimming, right? There's nothing indecent happening here. I'm putting on pants, just like a normal person, one foot at a time. What are those dice doing in here? Those dice? We're using those dice for things and stuff. And we've got my buddy Noah here. You guys haven't got to meet yet. What's up, everybody? That's Noah. He's going to help me film. And oh, that's also Noah. That, that's also Noah over there. He's coming, too. We got all kinds of Noahs coming along for the ride. Just two. Okay, just, just two Noahs coming along for the ride. Put on a belt. I think we'll be good to go. Perfect. Rad. This is the heavy one. Yeah, there's a ball python in there. Royal pain and... Royal... <laughs> <laughs> Royal I'm excited. It's a group of older kids, so it's not the younger crowd that we're used to. Some kids that are going to be taking notes, earning their reptile and amphibian badges. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been working out. <laughs> See you later. All right, Noah, you're in charge of making sure animals don't go flying. In our normal way, it's like... Um, you just go... Ribbit, 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 croak, croak. Ribbit, 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 croak, croak. Ribbit, 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 croak, croak. The frogs keep hopping on. I wouldn't call myself an expert. Uh, <laughs> that's a great question. And yes, I like questions. If you guys have any questions at any time, I don't want you to forget the question while I'm talking. So if you have a question, just put your hand up or even just shout it out. I really don't. It doesn't matter to me. But if you have a question, definitely ask it. It could be argued that most um, environments for reptiles and amphibians are endangered. That's the big one. Yeah, that's the big one right there. There's the lizards have legs, snakes do not. Jump on you. And he beat me to the punch. They actually have what are called hemipenes, where all of us boys here today have just a one peen, I guess you would say. Snakes have two. To learn how to do that, I could show you before this whole thing's over. <laughs> you think you're good? Uh, internal fertilization. That's exactly what snakes do. So this is this is a boa constrictor before they hatch. Yeah, yeah. She, it, as you can see right here, she actually will probably do some of the holding. Fine. That is a very common misconception. So it's keratin. So you can imagine each scale is basically coated with the same thing as your fingernail. Should be obvious, but th these are not the enclosures that these animals live in. This was just for transport. Just in case anybody was, was thinking they live in these little boxes. It is a rattlesnake. You can see it's given um, live birth. And that's a good question. Are reptiles and amphibians good parents? Yes and no. That's a yes. Perfect answer. <laughs> I always say anything that has a mouth, can bite. That's what the mouth is for. Not if they're males or females. I wouldn't put your hand in front of his face just because he's have. This is the most fun one to try and put away. There's a, a lot of a lot of habitat loss. Ooh, she's gonna she's thinking about taking a bite of it. She's a really interesting snake because she's really weird about when she decides she wants to bite me. And bite me. The, it's fast. slowly, like very, very slowly. It's the strangest thing, point to that. Or if, it would let you know that, because there's one thing I'll tell you. If I had to choose between getting bit by a non-venomous snake or a dog, I would pick a snake all day. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's a rock. Eat oh. fish, though, through it. Heating spot so she can dig a little more and lost in a car can be a big problem. I actually had an indigo snake get lost in a car one time. It wasn't any fun. So this, this is a reticulated python. This is the longest species of snake on the planet. Oh 
<laughs> you know all the good music. Though. Yeah, she, uh, she like pushed the top of the stage in that thing and made it a little raw. She doesn't usually do that. That's why I like to bring her. Uh, yeah, I thought the most is actually like that got the whole of the rainbow bow up. That pattern looks like one of the Sarah Star. That, that pattern is actually where they get their name. R reticulated python. Ding <laughs> <laughs> ding 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 ding. La 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Minimize all risks. All right. That was uh, short and sweet, but I actually did a lot of things today that you didn't see on video, like uh, do the Social Reptiles podcast with Garrett, which is live now if you want to go watch that. Did a live stream, did a Zoom call, did like migraine life, so that was mm -hmm. excellent. And did uh, dead life. Yeah, dead life. So, oh, uh, de yeah, dead, dead life. Dead life. Dead life as well, yeah. Noah here. You guys, this is your first time meeting Noah, I think. That's Noah. Hello, everybody. Um if one day I can afford Noah, I might pay Noah to <laughs> to, <laughs> to do what he just did today for free. <laughs> Huzzah. <laughs> but um, he's actually going to... I do make payments in snakes. What, but you're also going to... You, here's the some oh. su super cool... So those, those scouts are going to be doing an assignment where they uh, have to observe reptiles and amphibians for a, a course of months or a few months or something. Mm -hmm. And... No, Noah's going to donate tadpoles to the troop. I do. So I have a, I always forget, it's a 4.1 uh, Heterozaxilus albigatus, or the Starry Night Reed Frogs. I actually got them from Josh's Frogs. So you should definitely check out their website. They have some incredible amphibians and reptiles, a couple different lizards and stuff. But yeah, they produce like crazy. Um, I get about 150 at eggs. And uh, we are just kind of starting the whole process. I got them as pretty much babies. So we are definitely kind of learning things as we go with taking care of the tadpoles, but for them, definitely simpler the better. But they're an awesome, easy, beautiful species, so you should definitely check out Josh's, Josh's frogs. Or uh, Noah's frogs. because Or Noah's frogs, <laughs> yes. Or Noah's dogs. Noah's Is it dogs? safe for Hilo to come in? Are there any got Noah's dogs, out? Noah's frogs. Hey, Papa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Keep I know. The video. But. What? What? Do you know? I know. Hilo. What about Hilo? That he's the cutest little puppy in the world. Sometimes he can be a little bit naughty by biting. He is a <laughs> golden retriever. His original name was Wilson. Can you get that on slow-mo? <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh, hey, the four boys. <laughs> Thank you guys for checking out today's video. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next one. Aloha. Stay away from those cords, Hilo. Oh, yeah. No cords. No cords, dog.